Chris Culliver is uh, we'll see, is here today, so we're down the hall catching up with him. Told him uh, to get the last moment out to Fayetteville. He was on the team with us back in 2010. No, thir no, me. I went here in 13. Come on, Steve. Last time we went out there, me. Uh, I think he was with us, so wish he was uh, going out there. Maybe nine, whatever it was. Uh, I think it was an odd number here. But it's great seeing Chris, so sorry to keep you guys uh, waiting. Uh, excited to uh, get out here and uh, open up SEC play this week against a uh, really, really, really good team. Um, uh, beat a really good Cincinnati team on Saturday. Uh, so many weapons uh, offensively. Just look at them with the quarterback and 245 pound quarterback and a 225 pound running back and a big physical offensive line. Um, they got a six foot nine offensive tackle out there. Uh, they're large, obviously. And then they got weapons also. I mean, the, the tight ends, a really good player. They got multiple backs. Uh, the receivers, both start receivers. I've been with Matt Landers was with us at Georgia and uh, he's had a great career transferred in there and is doing a nice job for him. Jaden Hazelwood, we were I was with Jaden at Oklahoma. Uh, he's doing a great job uh, for him as well. So we've got a real challenge and then, you know, defensively just the uh, jumps off tape, the whole team, the effort they played with, the physicality they played with. But if you watch them on defense, size up front and uh, bumper pool, the linebacker, um, just a fabulous player, Drew Sanders, uh, I remember the, who's the other linebacker for him now that transferred in from Alabama. I can remember being at Georgia and Drew was a freshman, I want to say in high school. And we had him at camp in Georgia and knew that he was going to be an absolute freak uh, once he graduated and that's what he was. We recruited the heck out of him at Oklahoma and were crushed when we didn't get him at Oklahoma, uh, felt like he could be a guy that could play offense, defense, wherever he wanted at Oklahoma and went to Alabama and now he's at Arkansas. And, and then a really good secondary also. So it will be a big challenge for us. Sam Pittman has done a, an amazing job uh, there, uh, elevating that program since he came in. Ton of respect for Sam. Uh, even before we coached together at Georgia, always knew the, or heard the name Sam Pittman going back to when I was here at Carolina and we were recruiting Robert Quinn from Fort Dorchester and we lost him to North Carolina. And the guy recruiting was Sam Pittman. I remember thinking, how in the heck did the offensive line coach in North Carolina just get Robert Quinn to come to Chapel Hill? And um, he did. So knew of him then and then got the opportunity to work with him at Georgia. Uh, learned so much from him. He was a huge help to me in my career when I got hired at Georgia by Kirby. I had never coached tight ends before in my life. I had coached defense here and coached running backs at Virginia Tech. Uh, so I was really, I was the special teams coordinator at Georgia, but I was also the tight ends coach. And I was very, you know, um, I was definitely a rookie there because I had never coached tight ends. And Sam helped me so much just uh, being the offensive line coach. The offensive line coach and the tight end coach worked very closely together. And he was very patient and taught me a lot about offensive line play and tight end play and learned a lot from him. Got a ton of respect for him. We lived in the same neighborhood in, in Athens and he's a good friend and, and someone that, I uh, always pull for, so happy for his success. And he's got a really good team that plays really, really hard and takes, has taken on his personality. It'll be a big challenge for us Saturday. We know it's gonna be a great atmosphere uh, as well. I haven't been there in a while, but I've been there a bunch early on in my career, either at Mississippi State. Well, Mississippi State, we played them in Little Rock, but going back uh, when I was here at Carolina, and then I was thinking about it earlier, the first time I ever went out there was I was a GA at Tennessee in 2001, and that was the Saturday before the tragedy of 9-11. A few days later, that was the last home, or last game I was a part of before 9-11. We went out there on a Saturday night at Tennessee and won. I think we had a weather delay, and then 9-11 happened a few days later. So it's been a long time. Uh, I know they've made a bunch of improvements and enhancements to that stadium and excited to get out there. We've got to have a great week of practice and uh, give ourselves a, the opportunity to go out there and play well. Got off to a good start this morning, and real quick injury-wise, uh, no real updates. Christian Bill Smith practiced this morning. Expect him to go. Corey Rucker, I'd say, is very doubtful again this week. And then uh, uh, Ja'Kai Moore and RJ Roderick both, you know, I would say were, are questionable uh, for this week as well. Um, you know, we're waiting to get some results back on RJ. He's, he's, he's okay. Uh, just waiting to see kind of his pain tolerance as we go forward. But, you know, optimistic we'll, both, we'll see both those guys. But uh, they need to have a good day of practice tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens Saturday. So, Dave, what you got?